All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So we're back here in my backyard today and as you probably saw from the title, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my pull day workout. So I like to split up my workouts really simply into like a push, pull, legs, split. So today it falls right in the middle. It's a pull day. It's one of my favorite workouts. Well, I guess there's only like three different days, but I absolutely love pull-ups. You guys know this. We'll be doing lots of those today. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun because I haven't done one of these videos in a while to show you guys what my workout routines look like now. And like a lot of you, I'm working out at home but I am lucky enough to have this awesome setup in the backyard, so I am gonna be utilizing it, but if you guys wanna see like a video in the future, maybe like a follow along workout or something like that, drop a comment and let me know what equipment you have access to at home, because that would give me a lot of help on kind of like, you know, figuring out what you guys have, and then I could make a workout around that. But anyways, without any further ado, let me get warmed up, start this workout. All right, so I always like to start out with a bit of a warm up. I find it makes my workout so much better if I just spend a few minutes at the start of my workout warming up and jumping rope is like a really easy way, a quick way to warm up. Well, maybe not easy for everyone, but once you get the hang of it, it is and definitely gets your blood pumping really fast. And I like that it warms up my whole body, my wrists, you know, my legs, it gets the heart pumping. So yeah, really important, get moving, start a good warm up. And one thing I like about, about jumping rope, I always call it skipping, but it makes you sound like you're in elementary school. One thing I really like about jumping rope is there is a skill element to it. So while you're warming up, you can kind of develop some skills. But if you don't have these skills, <laughs> throughout the video, we're gonna be putting a little clip in the corner of Crystal doing some easier variations of the exercises that I'm doing because I know I'm a little more advanced than some people. A lot of people are more advanced than me, <laughs> but uh, it might be nice to see some other variations. So I'm gonna keep jumping rope for a few minutes. Crystal's gonna keep doing jumping jacks. <laughs> and uh, we'll get on with this workout. She's also filming too, by the way. So thanks Crystal for filming this workout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after I'm all warmed up, I really like to target um, the joints that I'm gonna be moving a lot. So shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Super important to get those moving. So first thing I'm gonna do for the shoulders is, I don't know what any of these are called. Um, if my hands are supinated or pronated or anything like that, but this is just what I do and it works for me. Uh, so I just pull the band apart like this and really focus on pulling from your shoulders and keeping like your posture really nice and your shoulders packed down and back. So I'll probably do a few sets of you know, 10, 20 of these. And the closer you hold the band together, the harder it gets. So if you want it really hard, hold it closer. Okay, it's probably too hard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then after that, I like to get the wrists going. So just uh, rolling the wrists over one another like this is a really good way to get those warmed up. <laughs> it looks crazy. <laughs> is it? It's like uh, this thing my teachers used to do and they're like this and then they're like, oh, and the, the kids were always like, whoa, and then the teacher would go like this yeah. and you'd be like, whoa. Next, we're moving over to the pull-up bar. So we got the big trampoline here in the middle. Usually I would warm up on this, but covered it up for the season because it gets pretty rainy and nasty here. So we'll have to deal without it today. But no, the jump rope and everything was a pretty good warm up. So what I've got here, you guys are probably wondering, what's that big bag of white stuff he's got? This is obviously chalk. It's actually climbing chalk from when I used to climb, but uh, I use it now for my pull-ups and my pull-up bar because when it's cold like this and your hands are dry and the pull-up bar is like cold and dry, you don't have much grip. So I do find that this helps. Get these out of the way. Another really good way to warm up the shoulders if you are at this level is to do, uh, they call it the skin the cat. You guys know I don't like that idea. Let's call it the, oh, the slippery cat. The slippery cat. Yeah, the slippery cat. <laughs> So just nice and controlled, and then let it feel the stretch, and back around. And I like having the rings at this height because I can actually put my feet down. Sometimes I'll walk it out and just really feel that stretch. Open up my shoulders, my chest. It's actually so fun, it makes you feel like you can do flips. <laughs> So you guys might have noticed, I built 
a roof over top of the pull-up bar. It's not my best piece of construction ever. However, it had to happen. It's been raining so much here and we're doing at-home workout, so I needed a roof over this. So I just put this up temporarily. I do plan on making something better in the future and that might be a video to come. But I just wanted to tell you guys that because it's a little too low for me to do muscle-ups right now. Actually, let's try one out. It's always fun. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can squeak in between this little nook here. Not a lot of space. So, yeah, you can see, not great for practicing my muscle ups. So I won't be doing those today. However, this is the movement that I do to keep my muscle up strong so that I can continue to do them. And as long as I do this, my muscle ups stay pretty consistent and whenever I go to do them again, it's pretty easy. So this is what it is. Keep my arms straight, just really focusing on Shooting my body up with my lats. So you can see I start off really high and I get gradually lower and lower because that is tough. But I'm telling you, that's really helpful if you're working towards a muscle up or if you're trying to keep them, it's a really great movement. So I'll usually do three to four sets of those right at the start of my workout pretty much as many reps as I can until I get too tired out like that. So it's usually around eight to 10. Do some more and then move on to the next. I'm doing it kind of thing. So I've been really enjoying the rings a lot lately for pull-ups, partly because they're nicer on the hands in the winter time than the cold pull-up bar, uh, but also because it gives you like a nice range of motion where you can kind of move your wrists to however you need to, to kind of keep everything like comfortable. So it puts a lot less stress on like your elbows and uh, your wrists and shoulders as well. So it's really nice. So I'm gonna start out with some weighted pull-ups. So I've got my weight belt here, two 25 pound plates. So it's 50 extra pounds. And I'll be starting with this. I'm definitely not finishing with this, but I'm starting with this. And usually what I like to do are drop sets. So I'll do a few pull-ups like this until my form starts to fail. Then I'll take one of the weights off, do a few more like that, and then just go with my body weight after that. And usually I will do four to five sets of that big super set. Yeah, it's a lot, but I like it <laughs> and it works. So here we go. All right, starting to get hard. Now I come down, take off one. So I think that's around five or six reps. I'm gonna keep going. No more with those. And just body weight. And on this last one is where I like to start turning my wrists a little bit more, getting a bigger range of motion. Almost going into like a, almost a chin up. More of a neutral grip, I guess. Oh, woo! <laughs> All right, so I'll let my body rest a minute and I'll get back up there and repeat. Do that four times, sometimes five. But while I'm waiting, sometimes what I'll do, I'll just hit the ground, do some mountain climbers. You gotta keep it moving, work them abs. Here we go. Whew. All right, then right back into it. No, I'm just kidding. I gotta rest for a few seconds, get some water. Whew. I actually have warm water in here on the super cold days. It's super nice. Not the most refreshing, but keeps me warm. All right, so I just went and grabbed my weight vest for this next one. So this is like, started out as a 40 pound weight vest. I think a couple of the weights have fallen out, so it's like probably 37 or something like that now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some rows, some ring rows, I guess you would call these. Um, and I'm gonna start out with the weight vest, do a couple sets like this and then take the vest off, do a couple more sets. So another sort of drop set style, but just a little bit different this time. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put the weight just like on my chest and do them like this, but 
Crystal thinks it's a little bit dangerous to be showing you guys, so so I got the old safety vest. But it makes me look tough though, eh? It's like, yeah, would you mess with this guy? Would you mess with this guy if you saw him? <laughs> what? No. You don't like tofu? You don't like tofu? What's wrong with tofu? All right, let's get into this. Oh, one thing I wanted to explain really quickly is that when I'm thinking about my workouts and like what to do next, I always think about the different planes of motion. So with like pulling movements, you think there's pull-ups that you can pull down like this. And then there's other ways that you can pull too. You can pull in towards you like this. That would be more of a row. Uh, and you could also like pull something up like this. Uh, what I'm getting at is I just did a bunch of pulls like this. So what I'm gonna do now are pulls like that. So this will, uh, you know, work a different set of muscles and, you know, lead to sort of all around uh, good gains. So with this one, I try to really focus on the squeeze of the top and then let it really stretch out at the bottom. And when I feel like get a little tired for this hand grip, I start to change my grip a little bit and I can pull a little bit deeper. So then in between sets, I just try and give myself, you know, about 90 seconds or so to sort of catch my bath. Okay, <laughs> bath, <laughs> gotta catch bath. Where is she, over there? Where is she? <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna wait and then do some more, probably three more sets like that with the vest on. And I'll take the vest off and I'll do three more sets just with body weight. So here we go, a few more like this. Wow, oh my gosh. By the end of that, your biceps are burning. Oh my gosh. Okay, so after the pulls is, it's all pulls, what am I talking about after the pulls? <laughs> after the pulls are more pulls. So after those ring rows, I like to go back and do some more bicep focused pulls. And we're talking about commando pulls right now. So I'll show you guys what those look like. No, it doesn't mean you have to take your underwear off to do them. They're a little bit different. I don't know why they got the same, but that's what they are. So. Uh, I'm just gonna do it and I can show you while I'm doing it. One hand in front of the other and you're pulling up like this. But what I like to do to add a little bit of core work into it is to bring my legs up in an L sit to the other side of the bar like this. It's gotta be one of my favorite movements. So much stretch and such a good squeeze at the top. So I'll do, I'd actually, I wasn't counting those, but usually I'll try and do around 10 on, like with each grip. So I'll alternate grips each time. So usually do 10 on each side. I'll do four sets like that. And then maybe do a couple at the end if I'm still feeling energetic. My biceps aren't burned out yet. I'll do a few more without the L sit. So just like this. Oh my gosh, I just fell in this hole. <laughs> And you really want to try and pull up as high as you can so that you pretty much hit your shoulder on the bar. Woo! All right, so like I said, I'm gonna do some more sets with the L sit and then a few more sets without it and then we'll move on to the next exercise. And then after those commando pull-ups and a short nap, <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I like to do at least a few chin-ups on the bar throughout my workout. Just, it's such a fundamental movement. Fundamental, man, my words are on point today. Chin-ups are fundamental. You definitely need to be practicing the basics. That's what I've been doing since I started. That's what got me the most gains in the beginning. It's what I continue to do now to keep my strength up. So let's do a couple chin-ups. Really no set or rep scheme on these, just whatever feels good. Get your chin nice and high over that bar. Keep your body straight, no kipping. Kipping is like when you go like this. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier.
Dang, feels good. All right, so I'm done with the pull-up bar for now. So I'm gonna move on to doing just a few more things. Got my trusty old, old uh, I think it's Joe Weeder weight bench here. But yeah, let's just keep this covered up. Oh my gosh, this guy needs saving. That worm is drying up. Hold on guys, stand by. Gotta save a life here, no biggie. So during my workouts, I always like to incorporate some ab exercises. You guys saw me doing those L sits with the commando pulls there. Now I'm gonna be doing some dragon flags. <laughs> this is a fun movement because not only does it like look really cool, and it's kind of impressive, but it's also really good at helping to build like a lot of core strength. So it's really hard, quite an advanced maneuver, but there are some easier variations and ways that you can work up to this. Chris will show you in the corner, but uh, yeah, let's do this. So there's the static dragon flag. What I like to do is just kind of move it around a little bit. Up and down. Woo. And then usually when you start shaking, it's probably enough for that set. <laughs> so yeah, I usually do, you know, four sets of these like I do with everything else. Another variation of it that I really like is uh, this. And it's a slightly like a bigger movement, like there's more movement involved, but it is a really good one. And it doesn't involve quite as much of that static hold. So I'll alternate between the two of those and go back and forth for a few sets. It's hard. <laughs> Alright, so next I'm going to do some bent over dumbbell rows. So like I was saying to you guys earlier, there's lots of different planes of motion that you can pull on. We've done lots of pulling this way, we've done some pulling that way. Now I'm going to be doing some pulling that way. So here we go. And these bent over rows are incredible, like so good for working like the biceps, all of the back. I'm not gonna pretend to know all the muscles, uh, but yeah, it's a really, really effective movement. Here we go. I, I don't usually put my knee on it, actually. <laughs> I just realized that I was part way through that. I'm like, I don't usually use my knee on here. I usually just kind of bend over like this. Oh well, it seemed to feel okay that time. Sometimes when you're on video, you get you overthink things, eh? You like overanalyze it, and then you just end up doing something you never actually do. That looked comfortable. Actually. Did it? Yeah, it looked good. I see people doing them all the time. Oh, okay, like that, so this so. is a thing. Yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> it, it might be the right way to do it. <laughs> Here I am filming a YouTube video. Follow my workout. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and of course you want to go to the other side. So I did around 12 reps or so there, and I think that's like pretty perfect for this movement. Okay, here we go. And the nice thing about that one, if you keep your core engaged, it's actually really great at working the core. Like by the end of it, your core is burning as well. So yeah, keep it really tight. I like to try and keep my, uh, keep it sucked in a little bit. Like not to the point where I can't breathe, but just focus on keeping that belly button pulled in nice and tight. Yeah, I like that. It's good movement. How many sets? Oh yeah, four or five sets per arm. So be like eight sets total. It seems like a lot, but you know, I get through these workouts in like an hour and 20 minutes, just buzz through them. Sometimes the last sets don't have as many reps as the beginning sets, okay? I'll tell you that much, but sometimes we're down to like eight from 12, but you know, just do your best. Grab the old prison weights. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this side. This is how, look how this weight stays on. This is so janky. Gotta use what you have though. Oh yeah. 
no excuses. And when you're lifting big weights, like 25 pound plates on either side, you can hold them on with like a little, a little wire. It's okay. All right, so next we're gonna do some curls for the girls. These are for you, Crystal. But yeah, once I, you know, finish doing all my calisthenics and all the tough stuff, uh, I like to do a little isolation work with some weights. So, some curls. Perfect. So, 10 reps of that. I will do three sets of curls with the barbell and then we got more prison weights for once I'm done that <laughs> and then I move into doing more of like a hammer curl so sometimes I'll do them as like a superset and sometimes I'll do them one after another Not bad for a little scrawny vegan. All right, so I think that's probably it for my pull day. I'm just gonna finish off with some of these curls. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the workout, and let me know if you guys want me to do some like follow along workouts or something. I could definitely do that. This was really fun to film. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. <laughs> like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys soon with another one. Come on, one more. Come on, come on, get it. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, get moving out there. Don't let these weird times stagnate you. I know it's like really easy to just like sit on the couch all day, but do your best to get up and move. Get outside if you can, get a little exercise. Just push yourself. You're gonna feel so much better in the end. All right, guys, see you soon. Yeah, let's just keep this covered up. <laughs> I actually found this on the side of the road. Do you remember that? Yeah. I manifested it. I was like, man, I want a workout bench. Boom, found one on the side of the road. <laughs> it was like a month later too. I was like, man, I want a comfy chair. Boom, side of the road, brand new comfy chair. Man, ask and you shall receive. That's what mom always said. Okay, what are we doing now? Giving motivational life advice here. Dragon flags. Dragon flags. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, this guy needs saving.